Hello, custom car enthusiasts, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In this episode, we're going to do another story mission here. So we have the Mayan M3 AWD. Hello, it's me again. My last purchase was not as great as I've hoped, but this time I found a true gem for my wife. Those internet auctions are a treasure trove of great used cars. Plus, I did everything couch potato style from my couch. I haven't seen the car yet, but judging from the pictures, I don't believe it needs a lot of work. The car is coming straight to your garage. Please check the oil and make any necessary repairs. Thanks. Alright, so, car bought online. Does it have an engine even in it? Well, I mean, I gotta say, it's not the worst looking thing I've seen in this shop by far. That's the problem, though. Alright, so we're looking at probably a full engine rebuild here. Does it start? Let's try moving it to the test path to begin with, and it'll tell us. Yeah, it can't start engine. Figure as much. Alright, let's go ahead and put it on the lifter. Let's test it. Alright, so pistons are blown, crankshafts blown, piston rings are blown. Uh, so all of that pretty much needs to be replaced. Good start. Ignition coil, spark plugs. Yeah, all right. Fuel rail's gone, fuel pump's gone. <laughs> All the tests we have to begin with. Nope, tires are shot too. <laughs> See how the battery is. Alright, well at least those things are actually decent. So let's see here. We have a bunch of parts not discovered, and everything pretty much that we did discover is bad. Got it. We're going to need to take the tires off. So let's just get those right away. I mean, that looks bad too, but... That we'll worry about after we get done with the engine. This is going to definitely be a multiple video vehicle, I think. here. Separate these tires. simple task out of the way right away because I want it to be sitting on good rubber here when we do test it out on the track and stuff. I'm going to make all these changes to the engine. need to make sure I don't 
get into an accident while on the track because I got no tread. Alright, so let's go here. Alright, so what are the tires? Sport tire 255-30R19. Alright, I'm not going to remember this. I'm going to have to take a picture, I think, of this so that I remember. Alright, took a picture here, have it on my phone, so that way I can fill in the information as need be. They do not make this easy on this. Sport tire, we need four of them. We're going to need the 30s. There we go. So we need four of those. Wow. Over two grand for new tires. Let's go ahead and put parts by name. Make sure they are the same. Yes, they are. Let's sell these off. At least we're making some of the money back. So, a little bit of money there. All right. Go ahead and put the new tires on. I should check here. Uh, global park condition. Pair with minimal condition of 100%. But I don't think it had the rims as something I needed to replace. Yeah, it didn't have the rims as something I needed to replace. Alright, so let's take that. Put it over here, balance it, the next one going here, on. Take that one. Balance the last one. should be taken care of at least. And we've accomplished something with the vehicle. Alright, that's taken care of. 
the first of many jobs to do with this car. We're going to bring the engine hoist over. Let's move it to car lift A. Need to unmount the gearbox from the car. That's fair. That's also going to have to come out. I can just see that already. Might as well take those parts out. Surprised if I had to replace the crankshaft too. Oh great! Didn't need to attach these tires again. My mistake. here accessible from the engine bay. So I've got to drop it down again to get the starter off. Now we can get the gearbox. take the clutch pieces off? I don't think so. We should be able to get it out now. First amount in front exhaust section, A14B4. Alright. on the lifter to get that section out. I think I could have left the air two parts on there, but you know what? Just trying to get this lump out of this car. I think pretty much all of it's going to need to be replaced, so... Trying to off. Wow. Alright, then. Move the equipment. Move the equipment to here. Use the equipment. At least it is oil in this engine, which is better than what we've seen in a lot of them. Alright, move the equipment back to its normal place. Drop it down. We're gonna get to that oil change that he wanted. Alright, we pulled the engine out. Let's get this out of our way. I always took the wrong one there. Alright, so the ignition coils are shot, we know that.
Spark plugs are out. here and I actually want the engine to stand to rotate it. There we go. Yes, I am going to have to get access to the uh, pistons in the end. Let's get those off right from the beginning. We're just going to tear the entire engine apart. And probably in between this episode and the next one, I will go ahead and order all the different parts that this engine's going to need. It is going to take a little while. Clips off on the bottom there. Throttle off. I'm actually more curious as to what doesn't have to be taken off of this engine or replaced. Alright, fuel rails. Things like that. I'm going to probably replace all of the fuel rails just to be on the safe side. here look bad. I mean, so we've already spent over two grand on this car, and we haven't even touched any of this stuff on the engine that's very obviously going to need work. Yeah, I probably should have gotten that off before we put it on this mount. These are a bit tricky to get off right there. Alright, 
am I missing here? Take the business from the top, though, which was odd. Alright. So, let's see how much we've got here. <laughs> Alright, the brake servo. Cam gears, the cam shafts. Well, at least the cam shaft caps are good. Clutch pressure plate, crank shaft, engine block, drive shaft, exhaust manifold, flywheel, fuel rails. As I said, I'm just going to replace all four of them. Ignition coils, all four of them. All the piston rings. All the pistons with con rods. All the piston caps. All the spark plugs. So yeah, so pretty much, I'd say a good 80% of the engine has to be replaced. Nice. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and go shopping. And I'll do that in between this episode and the next one. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me actually shop for all these different things. And then the next episode, we'll go ahead and reassemble this engine. And probably in the episode after that, then we'll finally test to see what else is wrong with this car. Um, this one's a long one, to be sure. So with that in mind, if you enjoyed what I did in this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you back for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.